San Antonio police didn't find a firearm or the cell phone of Savannah Sojo's boyfriend, Matthew Guetta, in the car that the pair were found in Tuesday afternoon. Sources also sharing that Guetta's body was found in the back seat of the vehicle while Soto was in the front passenger seat with a child carrier on her lap. I talked to Guetta's family who tell me everything that they did to find the expectant parents and frustrations with that process. But once it was like the 2, 2.30 p.m. mark, we started, started panicking. Panic and uh, non-stop calling and racing home, racing over there. and Calling police. Gabriel and Raquel Guerra say they called 911 when they sensed their son and his girlfriend were in trouble. The husband and wife who live in Bear County initially tried to file missing persons reports with the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Soto's family, who live in San Antonio, tried to file with San Antonio police. But because Guerra and Soto lived in Leon Valley, the report had to be taken by Leon Valley police. Well, I was told that they were trying to get the three agencies uh, all the information they had and combine them into one report. As this was happening, Gabriel says he was racing to his son's apartment, kicking down the door after he didn't get an answer, fearing the worst. The candle. The, uh, the candle was on. Um, that was another sign that they had a candle on. Gabriel says the lit candle and Savannah's diaper bag being left behind told them something was wrong. The house, he says, showing no signs of a struggle. Gabriel says he asked the Leon Valley police detective assigned to the case if they could track his son's cell phone location. He says a detective told him it was unlikely a judge would grant a warrant for that because there weren't exigent circumstances. And he basically said they're adults and they want to disappear, they can disappear. And again, I reminded him, you know, the, the baby's overdue. It has been overdue. They missed a due date. And uh, to me, that's a life-threatening, uh, you know, it's, it's, we, there should have been more urgency. We reached out to the Leon Valley detective assigned to the missing persons case to see if a warrant was ever sought. The detective replied that he was instructed by the Leon Valley chief of police to direct questions about the investigation to San Antonio police. He stated that he was not authorized to make any further comments. I never knew a pain like this existed. You know, you, you hear about a... a parent losing a child and you're like man i can't imagine what they're going through it's, it's exactly how it is you, know, you can't imagine it the couple expected to become first time grandparents this holiday season now mourning a son a grandson and their would-be grandson's mother i just hope um we can get to the bottom of this and just as we serve because i just can't fathom savannah and her boyfriend matthew guerra were found dead yesterday in a kia optima at a northwest apartment complex the discovery brought a tragic end to a search for the missing mother to be who was said to be induced last saturday one day after savannah and matthew's bodies were found rachel says they're left with questions especially as they don't know if the mother-to-be had any connections to the apartment complex where the car was found. But if there is somebody on the run, seven, seven brothers, and she was the only girl. She was the only girl. She was everything. She was everything. On Saturday afternoon, when no one had heard from Savannah or Matthew, Gabriel kicked in their apartment door in hopes of finding clues. That's when I saw Savannah's overnight bag that she had packed for the hospital that she didn't have with her, and that even threw me more of a panic. Gabriel knows Matthew was arrested in 2022 for domestic abuse against Savannah and even suggested Matthew stay in custody longer. They had contacted each other on the phone, and that was a violation, so they can please keep him in there, and unfortunately, uh, it would have to be Savannah to say that and she wouldn't do it so eventually he was let out domestic abuse charges were never filed again gabriel and his wife raquel say the couple was inseparable and seemed happy that's why they don't believe matthew could have hurt savannah but they want to find who did hi guys welcome to my channel so i'm going to be talking about the matthew Guerra. i don't know why i cannot say his last name correctly but matthew and savannah soto's case so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it into parts i know i have done three really long lives on this case and these videos basically are going to be all the stuff i've gathered throughout this case okay so whether it be stuff i found today that was newer stuff older stuff just everything in the case i'm going to be taking things out of my lives and just like all the screenshots from all the family members and friends and all the gossip and rumors and videos and posts and stuff that i've gathered from this case i'm going to put it in pre-records okay so i don't know how many of the they will be i'm guessing probably like three it's just a guess from as far as i'm trying to estimate how much information i have 
I'm gonna try not to make them that long each, but I know I always say that and they turn out to be longer, but I'm gonna put them in parts, okay? So this is gonna be part one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to have them somewhat organized, but like I said, they will include clips from my lives too because there's a lot of, you know, good information in the lives that since the lives are so long, I'm trying to condense everything so people that just want to get the important information or you know everything that's going on i'm going to condense it into you know pre-records that just have that and not be not me like interacting with the live chat and talking and rambling it'll just be the screenshots and everything that i just said <laughs> there i go rambling again but i won't have to explain it in any of the other parts so this is the only one i have to explain it because this is the part one so all right let's start off like i said i'm going to try to keep it as organized as possible right now what you're looking at is this is matthew's brother's instagram and he has like a compilation of uh, matthew and his family which i think is really neat um because you know we're hearing a lot of things about matthew and it's all mostly negative stuff you know about the drugs and the abuse and stuff and we really haven't seen like the family side of him i would say so this compilation does it i'm glad he posted it kind of does a good job of just showing you know him interacting with his family and yes there is a lot of partying going on in the family but you know who am i to judge you guys that know my past you know and i keep thinking about that post that i'll i will end up reading that his mom or his dad wrote about him. well actually i could read it now hold on a second I read it in the last live, but let me get it out. Okay, so I'm gonna play the clip from my last live where I read the whole article, but there's a part of it where it talks about what I was talking about, about what his dad was saying. Oh yeah, there's this interesting, this article's kind of interesting here. It talks a little bit about like Matthew's situation and stuff. Well, let me zoom in. So it says, so he's born to, in, in, 2001, a Texas, Texas native who went missing earlier this December. He and his pregnant wife, Savannah, failed to show up at the hospital, prompting a missing persons report. The investigations have brought up past cases of abusive and violent behavior in Matthew. Amidst the legal procedure to find the culprit, many turned to raise questions regarding the family of Matthew Guerrera, mother Karen, and father Gabriel. The bodies of Matthew and his girlfriend were found in Texas, which made netizens curious about their family growing up in san antonio matthew was often under the care of his mother karen which the stepmother made it seem like she they they raised him and they he was mostly with them so that was kind of interesting if this article is accurate furthermore her facebook posts reveal that the victim fostered along with his younger brother or his younger siblings. The victim fostered along with his younger siblings. Meanwhile, information about his father, Gabriel, remains minimal as he led a private life before the case. And here is him and his mom. Following the immediate concerns about Matthew and Savannah's disappearance, Karen posted a heartfelt message for her followers. Moreover, she clarified that her son would not do anything to harm his wife. Additionally, Karen urged the people to provide information if they spotted Matthew and his girlfriend in the neighborhood. Okay, so here's that post that that article was talking about. So it says, this is Matthew's mother. It says, if anyone knows my son, Matthew G Guerra, I don't know how to say it, Guerra, he and his pregnant girlfriend are missing. I know my son and he wouldn't do anything to hurt her. She is due to have baby. Her things were left behind that she packed for the hospital, including her purse. The neighbor said that they heard Savannah screaming for help. And the next morning they said they saw them get into the Cadillac. My son's phone says the caller is unavailable and their car is not at their apartment. Apartment. As a mother, I know my son and his girlfriend were taken against their will because my son does what he does for money. He is not an ab abusive boyfriend. It's envy and those who hate on others who don't need anyone that have something to do with my son and his girlfriend missing. Please help if anyone knows anything. Let me let me and his brothers know. Thank you. Okay, back to the article. While the Gira family grieved the loss of their son, the father spoke on the previous behavior of Matthew. Gabriel broke his silence and revealed excitement about his grandson, Fabrian's arrival. I thought it was Fabian. Similarly, Matthew often had talks with his father and sought advice to become an excellent father to his future child. During an interview, Gabriel claimed that Matthew had charges of unlawful carry, evading arrest, and domestic assault. Here's another picture of him and his mom. Not to forget, his assault case was from last Christmas and the victim was his pregnant wife. However, Savannah requested the court to drop the charges nearly a month after that incident. Likewise, the young couple struggled with alcoholism, which resulted in a physical clash between the two. 
Apart from the such details, the Guerra family has refrained from providing other details about Matthew and his girlfriend to the public. Culprit not identified. The investigations have revealed that the culprit shot Matthew and Savannah behind the ear. Savannah was a week past her due date, set to be induced at the hospital Saturday night. Furthermore, her mother, Gloria, broke down and prayed for justice as quickly as possible. In addition, she revealed that Savannah was in the car's front seat while her husband was in the back seat. This led Cordova and her family to suspect that Matthew was involved in illegal activity. Similarly, a neighbor testified on the case, revealing that Matthew often argued and beat Savannah. While they both grieved parties tried to defend why they both wait while both grieved parties tried to defend their child's past, they have not yet identified the real culprit. Seven million views on TikTok, the discussion under the Savannah. But anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting because the stepmom was saying that Karen they raised him, but this is me this seems like that the mom had him most of the time. It's how I kind of took from it. But okay, let me show you why I thought that Matthew's dad and stepmom are the ones that raised him because of this. So this is Matthew's dad and stepmom. I'm asking for help to please share this post. I had insurance coverage for Matthew. I'm literally on the phone right now trying to make funeral arrangements and finding out what the cost of the coverage my insurance had. We have not made an official GoFundMe. I have heard rumors that his biological mother, Karen Hernandez, has made a GoFundMe for Matthew. I'm not sure why she's not handling any of the, I'm not sure why she's not handling any of the funeral expenses. And it seems that this is just a money grab for her, unfortunately. If a GoFundMe ends up being made, there will be an official statement made by me and his father who raised him, who were in his life, not by Karen Hernandez. Please let that be clear. We are in the process of trying to stop that GoFundMe and report it. Please report that GoFundMe. Thank you. With Gabriel. So, I don't know. It's, it's going to turn into like a big feud between the family. So, his brother says... So this is Matthew's brother. This is sickening. Shouldn't have to explain anything, but I must clarify to what Raquel Guerra is saying. So that's his, the stepmother. Me and my family only taken measures to help and do what we can on our side so we can lay him to rest together. At the end of the day, he wasn't raised on this side of the family. We know that. Doesn't mean he wasn't close to us or didn't love us just as much as we all love him. We are well within our own rights as a family to try to prepare for services but apparently, there's an insurance policy Matthew's father has that was not communicated about until now. In result, they are asking we take the GoFundMe down. For everyone that has already donated, we greatly appreciate you and ask for continued prayers. Again, us as Matthew's family are just trying to do our best and appreciate everyone supportive of us. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to play this video from TikTok of a coroner talking about like what he would do if he has to uh, work on a, a, a woman that was pregnant and died, it's kind of interesting. When a pregnant woman passes away and I autopsy her, what do I do with the baby? So we remove the baby and we get blood from the baby. We make a DNA card in case anybody in the future wants to know who daddy was. Then after the autopsy, when I put mama in the body bag, I'll put the baby in mom's arms and then they go to the funeral home and see if they want the baby back in her belly crazy huh wow it's i didn't realize like i never thought that far through of like what do they do when that happens so basically he's saying that they he either depends on you know the family if they want to keep him he puts him in her mom's arms and then if they want him back in the baby back in the stomach he will put him back in the stomach here is uh some messages between savannah's sister-in-law rivera cass so rebecca says are you all burying baby and sav which is savannah in same casket and her sister-in-law says we want to but we're still asking funeral and we see what we can do or if we'll need another and rebecca says i have heard people doing it before and rivera says yes so have we Rebecca says, don't let them tell you no, because if they do, it's going against Sav's wishes. Okay, so this is a guy that lives in the same apartment complex as Matthew and Savannah lived in. And he explains, like, a timeline. He's there with uh, her family, I guess. So, I'm going to play that for you. There's a man, and he's just holding out to her. She's supposed to. She's supposed to. She's supposed to. I'm going to shoot a video real quick at his door. So, uh... 
good question. If you are the father of your child, you can tell us what is really in there. Yeah, they've been, they've been in there. So, uh, this is an update um, Christmas from uh, me talking to the family on Saturday. Um, and I'm getting a better timeline. They're saying about 8 o'clock they were, la uh, 11 o'clock they were last seen uh, here. And uh, between, uh, I think they, the family, the mother and them came here around a little bit afterwards. And at 1 o'clock they locked the door to the apartment. When they were there, there was guns and there was money. And there was weed in the apartment. Uh, from what is being brought to light, is that uh, allegedly, and we'll just say allegedly, right? Uh, his father, Matthew's father, came, and uh, I'm fixing to get the ring camera footage. But he, uh, there was heard that the door was kicked down. Uh, the door was kicked in three times. Also, it was confirmed by the police uh, because here at this complex, there's a San Leon uh, police officer that stays right next to the Valencia uh, apartments, which is, uh, that's a different complex on the back of us. So, the white truck is a Leon Valley police officer. Uh, so the timeline is 11 o'clock they were seen. Uh, 11, 12 o'clock, the mother and them came, they locked the door at one o'clock, assuming, well, you know, they might've went and got them a place or went to do something because they were gonna have a baby that evening and didn't think much of it. They locked the door behind them. And then between, uh, the next time that the police came, which was a five hour span. Uh, so that would put the timeline between one and, and, and uh, six. Uh, and by the time the police got in there it was seven o'clock. Uh, saying that uh, the father uh, came and kicked the door in and uh, took the, the money, took the weed and the guns from inside. Uh, so this is just unraveling now. I have the family members here. I got other family members on the way that are gonna come do a search and this is her family on her side. Uh, so, uh, still here trying to find stuff out and you know, there's some stuff, you know, unraveling. I just got off the phone with the, the, the father had one of the Police guys on the, not the investigator, but he had the police on the phone uh, following a clear alert or something like that. So uh, I got to look into that and figure out what that's all about. But uh, we're still here. Okay, here's another guy, I guess, that traveled from out of town to help find them. So this was before they found them. It looks like it was posted on Christmas. Well, so today's Sunday, uh, the 25th, uh, Christmas. This would be the parking lot where uh, Matthew and Savannah would uh, park their car here. And if you go out that way, make a left, you'll hit Grisham Road. Um, address is 6007 Grisham Road. Um, this is uh, Building 4, uh, where they were last seen at. And their residence is uh, right there at the corner on top. Uh, so. Uh, as you can see, I got cards on some of the doors. I've talked to some of the neighbors. Uh, and uh, I, I believe uh, maybe the family's made entry to the side there. To Maybe that's how they knew that, that she had her bag and stuff ready. Um, across the street is a, is a different, uh, I guess, apartment complex. Uh, but, you know, I've... Uh, talk to everyone I can here I believe that would talk to me um, there's only one uh, lady that I think she's gone for the holidays and uh, you see the card there uh, with the there's a ring camera uh, I believe that ring camera caught the, the vehicle uh, 
that we need to be looking for. You know, there's that skepticism, you know, uh, as far as, uh, you know, what type of vehicle, you know, still. The color, you know, I was told it was a dark green by the father. I was told it was a dark gray or beige color. Got the VIN number, ran the VIN number. The VIN number actually says it's a gray color car. Uh, 2013 uh, Kia Optima uh, had, at one time, had a, a hard plates on it, but it's got a, issued a temporary plate, which are paper plates, uh, and it's 1 1 of 24 that it'll expire. And uh, this is the entryway up to Grisham Road, and there are cameras, uh, CC uh, TV cameras up here, which uh, it's been closed since I got here because of the holidays, right? So I haven't been able to talk to anyone. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the detective uh, working the case for Leon Valley's probably got something already, but uh, there's uh, cameras uh, on the building. Uh, this, I guess, is a community center here. And uh, there's also cameras at the at the beginning. Uh, so you know we know that uh, that they're missing for a fact. Uh, no contact. The phones are off. Uh, she was supposed to have uh, you know induced labor, as, as everyone knows by now, right? Uh, Valencia lost is where I'm at, but. You know, it's coming to play where uh, people are saying a Cadillac, right? And that lady with the ring camera, that's why I need to talk to her, right? She would know that. Uh, 11 a.m., one said 5 a.m., the next person said 11 a.m., broad daylight, seen them leaving, uh, getting into a Cadillac. And, uh, but you know, my question is, okay, if they were getting into a Cadillac, then where was his car at? Where's the 2013 uh, Key Optima, right? Uh, so, uh, have a, had a lot of people, had a lot of hood news peeps uh, help out, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, trying to get a hold of the family, uh, for me to be able to talk to the mother Gloria, I actually run up on the, on, on, on the father, uh, out here, uh, while I was, uh, taking some pictures of the, of the, of the address and, you know, taking pictures of, uh, you know, the cameras. Uh, and there's a camera on the utility pole where those cameras coming in, right? So there's got to be footage uh, that we just ain't getting yet, right? Uh, because of the holiday season, because people are taking off for Christmas. Uh, but, you know, I, I ran up, uh, he ran up on me and, uh, you know, asked me why I was taking pictures and was I a maintenance man. And, you know, we talked and uh, so I've talked to him. I've talked to Gloria. I've talked to uh, the streets, which is... Uh, Matthew's older brother, we've been communicating as well. Um, as far as uh, anybody else coming out here looking for them, I haven't seen anybody. Um, people say they're gonna come, but you know, we just don't have a specific area. So if you go down Griston Road here, uh, his grandmother stays not too far, 4.5 miles away from here. That's where the car was registered at. That's where he got his mail at. Uh, I already went there. Uh, she and I understand, you know, they're not going to talk to me. Uh, they they feel like, you know, they just want to deal with the police. That's all they want to do. Would the, the police handle it? We don't want to talk to anybody else. Uh, you know, please leave. Um, and oh, that's all I can do, right? Is offer uh, somewhat of the help that that that, that I'm having, willing to, you know, be out here, willing to to. Uh, latch on to anything and, and try to see if if, if if any lead leads to something else right which has been uh, un unsuccessful um uh, so brought me back here after i've been riding around i've been uh, going through different roads uh it's a lot of dirt roads uh cell tower sites uh, utility uh easements uh that, that have access to uh these limestone roads that go up and down, up and down to these little creeks. There's a bunch of parks around here. Uh, went to one park this morning, which I was there last night. It was pretty dark. I went there this morning. There was a police officer, uh, and uh, I just let him be. He was asleep, so I let him be. I, I was gonna I asked him something, but 
it wasn't really re relevant i don't think he would have told me anything anyway so but uh this is where we're at and uh i mean it's it's a uh, it's kind of cool out here and breezy nice summer day but you know we're not getting anywhere not getting any answers so i'm i'm, I'm trying to see what else uh, i can come up with as far as a lead uh, so that's where i'm at it's 11 08 i'm here at the parking lot and we got a san leon officer just pulled up here see what's uh, going on over here see if we can make contact with them uh -oh. let's see if uh is she gonna knock on doors or go straight up to the apartment That's uh, building five and uh, that's building four over there. So, get one of my cars to give to her. I had to make contact with her that way. Let her know that I'm here. I tried to call that investigator, but I ain't getting nothing from him. Okay, so this is a clip of when they first found them after the press conference. Matthew's mom asks, the officer or something and he's responding to her we're looking at this right now as a lot of investigation so we don't know how it's going to pan out this is a very 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 perplexing crime scene so uh, we're just gonna have to wait to see how it plays out once we get further into the investigation we'll, we'll know a lot more but that's what we have right now and that's what I'm gonna mention to the media Okay. Any questions from anybody? That's the only update. This is his mother right here. That's the only Your update. Mom? Yes, this is mom of Matthew. Um, I'm not sure where Savannah's mom, mom is. She's not in the she's front. Like, right here. Oh, okay. Okay. That's where my dad is at too. So that's what we're looking at right now. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Um, I honestly feel like they got set up. And then I'm going to play the two little clips of Matthew's cousin. Most of you guys have probably heard it, but maybe some haven't, or maybe some want to hear it again. Like I said, I'm trying to condense all the information, but it's Matthew's cousin explaining what she heard that happened. And this was from like that, was it the, that night or the next day when it came out? I mean, when she said this, so it was like before anything was even announced of any cause of death or like of anything that happened. So she was pretty accurate with the main stuff. We don't know yet about the whole pants down or torture thing, but okay. So here they are. Because nothing's making sense to me. The way they left him in the back seat. They left him in the back seat, laid out with his pants off. Um, it was gruesome. They just said it was gruesome. Um, he was not in the front seat. He was in the back seat. My cousin's very, very, very um, tall. Um, Savannah was in the front passenger seat and she had the car seat on top of her. Um, my cousin was in the back seat, um, laid out with his pants off. Um, they said that he basically was tortured. They didn't really want to get into details because they haven't moved the body. They're waiting for the medical examiners to get there so that they can start moving the bodies, seeing what was going on and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, um, they down because they were both together whenever they passed. We have no details. 
they don't they don't want to give us no details they did let us know that there was shell casings in the car and that my cousin's injuries were very gruesome This is a very, very hard pill to swallow. <laughs> Just seeing the pain in my aunt's eyes. <laughs> Even seeing the pain of Sarada's family just hurt me so much. And honestly, I just hope that all of us could just come in and all come together because at the end of the day, we both lost family members. And she was a family member and it's just it's ugly it's ugly okay so here is matthew's brother's live streams there's just a, a few different clips from a few different live streams somebody has their phone because i was texting the number saying matthew where the fuck are you at nigga i'm your big brother let me know where you're at you in savannah i need to know that y'all are both okay and when i sent it like seconds later somebody was typing but then stopped typing and never saying shit so i know somebody has her kidnapping because of money i think it was something else not because of money because of hatred because my brother has a lot of enemies my brother has a lot of en not like him just to like hide her from the world even if he did put hands on her this is not like my brother to fucking like <sighs> okay I'll wait till this more viewers come on here. <clears throat> so if you're like um a person who does not have me on Facebook, y'all y'all wanna hear this. First and foremost, everyone is making these assumptions and portraying my family. Me, uh, my mother Karen Hernandez and my brother Sabian, um, everyone's portraying us like if we had something to do with my brother and my sister-in-law missing. First of all, we do not. We're all worried. There's an open investigation and an open missing persons case on Savannah and my brother Matthew. Anybody in my messages asking me questions, making threats, making assumptions, just want to say anything that they feel like saying to me, I'm not going to reply to it anymore. I'm done uh, giving the attention and giving like a reaction to everyone. You know, everyone wants to get a reaction out of us and it's not going to work. My brother is, my brother comes from a good family, you know, um, he was raised by his dad. Um, he came back to us when he was 18 years old. I'm not gonna speak on a lot of shit on a lot of shit, but My brother's not perfect. You know, no one's perfect. But at the end of the day, we do not know where my brother is. So anybody on Facebook, you know If y'all know something come forward, bro, cuz we're just worried about the safety of Savannah, the baby, and my brother, Matthew. Uh, I'm tired of everybody coming at my mother, calling her a hoe, a bitch, saying that she's a murderer, an accessory to murder. Everyone's thinking that we have something to do with this. We do not have nothing to do with this. I promise y'all. I don't need to lie. I have kids of my own. Like, I, I just don't like how the internet is making, it, making us look like criminals. I don't like that at all. I just hope that Savannah, my brother, and the baby are all okay. 
I, I'm thinking the worst right now. My brother, he has a lot of enemies. He has a lot of enemies in San Antonio. But, you know, that doesn't... I don't know, but I'm not going to be replying to nobody's messages that if I don't have you on Facebook, I'm not replying to you. You know, y'all want to know what y'all want to know? Go ask the police. Go ask them. They know everything. And if y'all y'all are over here telling me that I'm an accessory to murder, that I'm going to go to prison for life and all this shit, fuck you. Like, I'm going to get ghetto now. Suck my dick. I don't give a fuck what y'all saying. I will speak to the police gladly. I have nothing to hide, bro. Put a lie detector test on me. I don't care. I'm ghetto, but at the same time, I'm fucking a man. You know, I'm grown. I pay my own damn bills, bro. All I want is my brother to come forward, Savannah to be okay, the baby to be okay. You know, my brother too, but like, th this is not like my brother. This is not like my brother at all. He always checks in with his grandma. He always calls and lets us know he's okay. This is, this is not like my brother. And this is not like him just to like hide her from the world. Even if he did put hands on her, this is not like my brother to fucking like hide her. You know, he's just making this this um situation much worse. Everyone thinks I'm on my brother's side. No, if my brother did do wrong then i'm against my brother but at the same time i still want my brother to be safe because that is my family member dog that is my baby brother that's my blood that's my family like at the end of the day i'm supposed to care about his well-being good or bad wrong or right you know family is family bro at the same time savannah's family too she's carrying my nephew my nephew you know Everyone thinks that we don't care about Savannah. It's not that we don't care. It's just, it's just, it's just a lot of shit going on right now, man. And me as an older brother, I, I'm just doing my part. Like I said, we already fought. There's already a, a missing report on Savannah, done by her family, and Matthew done by his family. You know, I don't have to say no more. I don't have to reply to nobody. I don't have to give my two cents to anybody. You know, people they people want to be in my inbox talking shit, calling me a uh, uh, a rapist, calling me a murderer, calling me a uh, uh, a defender of people who put their hands on women. Like, <laughs> no, I don't have to speak to none of y'all. Like I said, if y'all want to know more information, y'all can go to the police yourselves. And y'all can ask them since y'all want to be CSI investigators and shit. I don't have nothing to say to you people. All I'm worried about is Savannah's safety, my brother's safety, and their baby's safety. Uh, safety, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, that's pretty much all I have to say on that. Um, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a negative person. I'm not trying to be evil. I'm not trying to talk shit and get mad. But people are just getting under my skin, bro. Just... They're getting under my skin and I shouldn't let them. You know, it's it's Christmas today. But here I am at home just worried, sick. I don't know. But I would just appreciate everyone who does not know, who does not physically know what's going on. And especially people who do not live in San Antonio, Texas, who do not know my brother personally, me, my mother, or my brother. Just please keep y'all's mouths closed and worry about yourself, man. Worry about yourself and what y'all got going on. Stop worrying about what's going on over here. Yes, y'all can be worried about Savannah because she's pregnant. And that's totally understandable. But stop, stop. Please stop making it seem like we have something to do with it. I, we are not evil like that. We are not bad people. We are not, we are not kidnappers. We don't do that. We don't do harm to fucking females. Anybody in general, we don't do that, bro. Stop making it seem like we're criminals. Stop making it seem like we're bad people. I don't like that shit, man. I don't like that shit. Anybody on my Facebook can vouch for me and claim that and say that we are good fucking people. We're not bad people. Everyone knows how we are. I just want everyone to keep my family Matthew, Savannah, their baby Fabian, in y'all's prayers. Please keep them in your prayers because 
I don't even want to fucking get too much more into it, bro. But just keep my family in y'all's prayers, bro. Because this shit is fucking for real. Like, my brother is literally missing. My sister-in-law is missing. Their baby is fucking missing. And everybody's just coming at us. Man, bro, I'm not even trying to get sentimental, my nigga. But fuck, bro. I'm not a fucking bad person, nigga. I just want my fucking family home, bro. That's all I want. And I don't know none of his fucking friends. I don't know where the fuck they live. I'm not going to speak on any more. Any, I'm not going to speak on no more information on an open investigation. Like I said, if y'all want to know so much, y'all can go talk to the police yourselves, my nigga. Y'all can go talk to the police yourselves. But I promise one thing, I am not I am not a fucking criminal. I am not a bad person. I love everyone who's trying to help us. You know, look for my brother sharing, sharing the report. You know, just... Just checking in, you know, making sure we're okay. I appreciate everyone. And, you know, all the negative people, people who are threatening me, threatening my family, all this shit. You know, I'm not even going to wish nothing bad upon you. At first, I was getting mad and just talking my shit. But look, now, God bless you all. I do not care. I just want my fucking family to be found. I want Savannah to be found, the baby to be found, and my fucking brother to be found, bro. That's all I care about, bro. Merry Christmas to everybody. Y'all have a good, happy holidays and a happy new year. And let's just pray that my brother and my sister-in-law and my nephew are all found safe. I have nothing more to say, you guys. I'm going to get off this. God bless y'all. I'll never get to meet or see his son. I'll never get to hug him again. Never get to smoke one with him, drink with him. I'll never get to have any more memories with my brother because he is gone. He is gone. Like a negative person in it and I'm not a negative person I'm a good person we all are good people my family like a negative person in it and I'm not a negative person I'm a good person we all are good people my family Matthew Savannah God bless her fan her family my deepest condolences to her family I just wish this was all a bad dream. I could just call my brother and be like, what are you doing? I'm gonna pull up. I'll never get to hear his voice. Talk to him. Smoke one with him. Drink with him. Just be with him. We would always crack jokes on each other, on each other all the time. We'd pass out, I'd put sriracha in his mouth, slap him with cheese. Um, we always just played jokes on each other. We had a very good connection. That was my baby brother. And he was such a good uncle to my kids. He loved my kids, both of my sons, he loved them. My mom is broken. I'm 28. My brother Sabian, he's 26. My brother Matthew just turned 22 in October. And our youngest brother is Lorenzo, he's nine. <clears throat> I'm the oldest. Thank you for all the prayers and the condolences.
There is no um, updated information at this time. Still haven't found the people. Everyone's making all these assumptions and um, videos of, of who the person could be. We don't 100% know who the suspects could be. We have a hinge, but I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna speak on about an ongoing investigation. Excuse me. Again, when I have a full stomach and I talk, I don't know, like, I get awesome. Because I'm fat. <sighs> Can I be a mod? I don't know what that means. They they made an, uh, an arrest on somebody that was connected to something totally different. It just looked like it could have been something to do with my brother because it was aggravated kidnapping but that was a completely different person um so yeah right now we're trying to find out who the man in the truck was <laughs> everyone has their speculations and assumptions on who it could be but like we need to know that it's the like the right person All y'all are asking me questions that is really none of y'all's business. Are y'all paying for the funeral of Matthew's dad? Like, what the fuck does that have anything to do with... Like, wh why do you care so much? Don't worry about it. If you're not gonna be there, like, if you do not know either both parties, don't ask me questions like that because it is respectfully none of your business. Yeah, I'm going live talking about, I'm not talking about everything. <laughs> um, that's why you need a mod, those people get blocked. What is a mod? I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. They block people's comments. Oh, I didn't know that. I need a mod then. I never knew what a mod was. Jenna, do you want to be a mod? Because you're my cousin and I personally know you. Make me a mud. What the fuck? I, I don't, I don't, never, I hardly go live anymore because I just don't really go live anymore. My brother was murdered. That's obviously what happened. <laughs> Jenna, can you be a mob? Because clearly I need one. How do I put her as a mob? Oh, moderators. Now, is that what is that what you're talking about? Um. Jenna. There she is. Need accounts, block accounts. Awesome.
Okay, my cousin is now Omar. New tattoo coming soon, yes. Indeed, new tattoo coming in real soon on my arm. On this arm right here. Yes, uh, the, his father had a uh, life insurance for Matthew, but uh, the life insurance can't uh, cover the full expenses of the funeral. Um, my friend uh, Roman, he's a tattoo artist. He's the one that did this one. He did this portrait. If anything, I'll have him do a portrait of my brother on my own. Very well detailed. Okay, so I'm just gonna read the posts of between the family members and then that'll be the end of part uh, one. Some looks the same as that post I already read, but there is um, a, a little bit of new stuff in it. So I'm gonna read it again. Well, I'm gonna play the clip where I read it. So if anyone knows my son, Matthew, he and his girl, pregnant girlfriend are missing. I know my son and he wouldn't do anything to hurt her. She is due to have baby. Her things were left behind that she packed for hospital, including her purse. The neighbor said they heard Savannah screaming for help. And the next morning they said, saw them get into a Cadillac. My, th I remember that. Now this next part, why am I not remember reading this next part? It says, my son's phone says the caller is unavailable. And their car is not at their apartment. As a mother, I know my son and his girlfriend were taken against their will because my son does what he does for money. He is not an abusive boyfriend. It's envy and those who hate on others who don't need anyone. That have something to do with my son and his girlfriend missing. Please help if anyone knows anything. Let me and his brothers know. Thank you. He done beat my sis up plenty of times. Even the neighbors right now said he'd been doing it but don't ever want to catch around not even with my baby brothers who are minors oh wait this was in the comments from matthew's older brother the streets and savannah's older brother so this is matthew's older brother and savannah's older brother her older brother his older brother so one of them is saying you talking like you know f you mean he won't do no harm to her so that's obviously the blues obviously her brother or his brother i mean his brother he won't do no harm to her he done beat my sis up plenty of times even the neighbors right now said he'd been doing it but don't ever want to catch around not even with my baby brothers who are minors anyway so his brother says i'm looking for both of them to you don't think i ain't i know that stupid would fight with her but to go over the edge and just go missing with her when she's supposed to be induced wtf i know he ain't that stupid that's my little baby brother and i got love for your little sister trust me i'm worried about her well-being just as much as hers but oh on god i know my brother wouldn't go ghost not on family not on us he answers no matter what i think they both got kidnapped dog i don't know but i'm just as sick as you are call me it looks like he calls and then this is his mom um matthew's mom so somebody says to matthew's mom but you defending him beating up his chick disgusting and his mom says i had no clue of where to begin if I call the cops, my relationship with my son was once in a blue. He kept to himself. And then she says, I'm just as lost. And to find out that this is happening makes me feel like I'm losing my mind. WTF is so funny. You ignorant people. How old are you? 12? Everything is funny. Seriously, grow the F up. None of you y'all know crap about my son or are making him out to be if y'all knew he was abusing her how come y'all didn't try and help her and convince her to get away from him if that was the issue and y'all want to act like y'all give a f now y'all want to take light off y'all's outlook and motive as to why he should be made out to look like the bad guy please and somebody says i don't believe they did something to him that would make no sense. You're saying that they did something to the girl and baby also because that's who is missing, not just him. 
you failed your own kid and you're as much of a mess as he is, you. Her daughter was in the... So her mother says that she believes her daughter was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think it had something to do with him and the things that he was doing, not my daughter. Cordova said, referring to Matthew, my daughter just was there with him and they didn't want someone to say what happened. Somebody that's going to say it's so-and-so or this is what he looked like. She just was there at the wrong time. Somebody pointed this out, which is weird. So this picture was posted and look how they're blurred out. Everybody else is clear, but they're blurred out. And I know, you know, phones do that. Like the iPhones will focus when they have that autofocus. But it's, it is kind of weird, though. That, um, you know, everybody else is clear and they're blurred out. Okay, so this is Anthony's, or Anthony, this is uh, Matthew's brother. Oh, because it says Sabian Anthony. Um, it says, you sh shut the F up, you stupid. People like you, the reason why so many girls go missing and get abused. Sick. Man, there's a lot of words. And you got kids in your page. You better hope your kids never go through something like that or end up being the bad one that hurts somebody and goes to prison just to become everybody's. Somebody says, shut. So I don't know who... That is talking, but then he says, shut the F up, or you'll go missing, Goofy. So he's like talking about, you'll go missing, and this person says, oh, that is not going to help your case. You guys love to make people go missing when they make any of you mad, huh? The police will be seeing that, Pookie. I hope you love being interrogated. Wow. Okay, so I have to read the rest of these now. So Raquel Guerra is... Matthew's stepmom and Gabriel is his dad. It says our lives are forever changed. We'll never be able to hold our grandson Fabian or Fabian. I don't know how to pronounce that so forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. We so anxiously awaited his arrival. Our children are devastated to lose their brother, sister-in-law, Savannah, and nephew. We lost our son, daughter-in-law, and grandson in a day. Please keep Savannah Soto's family in our, your prayers. We have been working with Leon Valley Police Department since the beginning, consistently behind the scenes. For the concerned safety of our daughter, Brianna, due to severity of the case... We have been in contact with Savannah's mother and father, so they are aware of this. We were at Leon Valley Police Department this morning working with detectives as well. This is still an ongoing investigation. And then Matthew's mom says, my babies are all dead. And everybody tells her they're sorry. So I don't know what she means. My babies are all dead. If she's just talking about all three of them. I'm not sure. So here's Savannah's family. It says, I went yesterday to my cousin's fam after the incident and brought a speaker to play music for my fam. Not much, but got everyone vibing. This loss brings us together. Not the way it should be, but it does. Love seeing my Soto Familia and talking. Yes, listening to someone. Okay, so this is Matthew's stepmom. It says, there's one for the vigil now. Karen made one and Sabian making that three. If anyone is spreading false information, it's them. Savannah's mother asked me to tell Karen and her family to stop going live, and they won't. They aren't respecting Savannah's mom's wishes. Second, I receive no response when I tell his bio mom if she can send the funds to the funeral home. I am not trying to bash her, but her own family is making that difficult. All I'm saying is yes, she's bio mom, but since we have custody, we always handle everything for Matt, and she hasn't been around to now say she's handling things, etc. when she isn't. Can she help? Yes. So why doesn't she respond when we're asking her to send it to the funeral home? She won't respond to any of that. So somebody says, who deleted the comments? I wish the stepmother, I wish the stepmom mother would just mourn and stay off Facebook. And Raquel, the stepmom says, so she says, Gloria, Savannah's mom has asked Karen and her family to stay off social media and they do not. I created a separate GoFundMe since I haven't received a response from the biological mom if she will be sending anything from the funeral home. I'm not trying to bash her, but at this point, her side of the family is making that difficult. She hadn't responded to me every time I asked her if she could send me the funds directly to the funeral home. It's difficult handling all the funeral arrangements, speaking to the te detectives, the list goes on, and Savannah's mom has asked me to let them know to stop going live, etc., and they won't. They are not respecting Savannah. And here's Matthew's mom's post. It says, I was always a good mommy to my baby, NMW. 
I am heartbroken and no one will take the love I carry in my heart and soul for my pride and joy. I love you, Matthew Gabriel Guerra, the baby you lost in the beautiful queen you loved. I only got to meet the day of the baby shower and now y'all are gone. You were so happy, both of y'all. This is not fair. R.I.P. M.F.S. Okay, so we have a post from Raquel. Uh, Matt's stepmother says, Hello, Rivera Cass. So she's talking to Savannah's uh, sister-in-law. It says, I just messaged you and Gloria on behalf of his father, Gabriel Guerra. I messaged to my phone number as well on Facebook Messenger. If anyone could help me and let her know that we would like to speak to her as well because we also wanted to get a photographer for baby Favian, a professional for stillborn photos of our grandbaby. So this is from Matthew's stepmom. It says, hello, I would like to clear up some miscommunication going on. I am Raquel Guerra, Matthew Scarra's stepmother. My statement is not intended to bash his biological mother, Karen Hernandez, or his brother, Stephen, the streets. Because regardless of the situation, Matthew did love them too. And they are grieving as well. Please respect that. I just want to say we have no communication with Karen Hernandez or the streets. Whatever they post, they do not run that by us. My husband had custody of Matthew when I met him. He was a single father. I met Matthew when he was about to turn three years old. Matthew's father and I married and we became a full-time blended family. My mother and father-in-law, Matthew's grandparents, also were very involved in his life. They are beyond devastated. Matthew has two stepbrothers, my boys, and a half-sister. My husband Gabriel Guerra and I had only one child together, our baby girl. Matthew's a little sister who he also loved dearly. Matthew was very close to his stepbrothers, my boys. My boys are devastated because blood or not, that was my son. Those are his brothers. We treated all of our children as they were ours. My boys lived with Matt since he was three years old. My boys are not speaking to social media sites, etc. To not taint the investigation. Karen saw Matthew two times a year on his birthday and Christmas. I had the relationship with Savannah. Phone records will prove this. I was waiting for my grandbaby. All my close friends knew this. Me and Savannah had so many plans for Fabian. Savannah had two baby showers. Her family had one and so did we. My daughter was over the moon to be a Tia, which is an aunt. Um, she's crushed that will never happen. Let it be clear, my husband has always tried to set Matthew on the right path. We both have gone through hell and back, always trying to help Matt get back on the right path. People close to us know this. We never, ever bail him out of jail, ever, either. We are devastated. Matthew didn't get that second chance to turn his life around. Everything will come to light. Please understand, all of Savannah's family and Matthew's family are beyond devastated. This still doesn't even seem real. We have another one from the stepmother. It says, please, please, please do not contribute any funds to the GoFundMe Karen Hernandez has made. We are in the works to stopping that. It seems like an opportunity grab for her. We are handling Matthew's burial and costs if needed. We will make an official announcement if an official GoFundMe will be needed. I had insured on Matt. I was the responsible parent. I'm astounded to find out she's doing this. Please, I'm begging people to get the word out. Do not contribute to this fund. And then another post, it says, The official GoFundMe for Matthew's funeral expenses is on my Facebook profile, public. Raquel Guerra and his father, uh, Raquel Guerra. I have been trying to be civil with Karen Hernandez, his biological mom, who's never been in the picture. We visited funeral homes today and confirmed which package we got. I asked Karen Hernandez just now via text messages if she will be giving that money for the funeral. She has not responded. I never wanted this to get ugly for Matthew. Okay, so the next one is... Says this was in the comments from Matthew's older brother, the streets, and Savannah's older brother. Says, Where's your little brother at? And my little sis. And you talking like you know? F you mean he won't do no harm to her. And the N word, he done beat my little sis up plenty of times. Even the neighbors right, right now said he beat, been doing it, but don't ever want to catch around, not even with my baby brothers who are minors. So that's her brother, and then. His brother says, the N-word, I'm looking for both of them, too. You don't think I ain't? Now that stupid-ass N-word would fight with her. But to go over the edge and just go missing with her when she's supposed to be induced? WTF. I know he ain't that effing stupid. That's my little baby brother. And I got love for your little sister. Trust me. I'm worried about her well-being just as much as hers. But on God, I know my brother wouldn't just go ghost not on family. Not on us. He answers. I think they both got kidnapped, dog. I don't know, but I'm just as sick as you are. 
And then he says, call me. And then the Matthew stepmother says, for anyone asking, yes, the most basic package that we found after searching for a couple days was a mission funeral home. The most basic package cost $19,885. I will show receipts and proof that all funds will be going to his funeral expenses. We have been going through a lot dealing with all this. I am pending for my insurance company to get back with me because since it was a homicide, we are pending to see if there is a clause that will be covered that has taken days. Yes. The official GoFundMe for Matthew's funeral expenses is on my Facebook profile public. Raquel Guerra and his father Raquel Guerra. I have been trying to be civil with Karen, his biological mom, who's never been in the picture. We visited funeral homes today and confirmed which package we got. I asked Karen just now via text message if she will be given that money for the funeral. She has not responded. I never wanted this to get ugly for Matthew, but I will blast the screenshots if needed. And then Raquel, that's once again, uh, Matthew's stepmom says... The piece of shit is his mom, if you want to go there, who did nothing for him. My boys are physically ill and can't even post while others are going live for clout. We are mourning and handling the adult stuff, as we know who's always had issues handling being an adult. I, w I wasn't his biological mom, but I was his mother. People go check court docs. You want to stoop that low and put me down, right? I'll lead people to the truth. She met Savannah once. WTF. Newsflash, you got the wrong shaking my head even i know matthew isn't her youngest it's lorenzo you don't even know that and this says it's hard to stay quiet she matthew's stepmom keeps trying to make my family look bad when my cousin sabian matthew's brother made the GoFundMe for $10,000 that she bashed them for. And instead of coming together and asking for everyone to donate to that, she goes and makes a new GoFundMe for $20,000. Like, what? All expenses on Sabian's GoFundMe are going towards the funeral costs, even if it's for extra details or flower arrangements. So, she's, this person is talking about the stepmom, and then the stepmom responds, the last thing we wanted is extra stress and drama. Me and my husband Matthew's father have the official GoFundMe for his funeral expenses. Please let that be clear. I already heard of people impersonate, impersonating my GoFundMe, and I just learned that his biological mother made another GoFundMe, which makes three GoFundMes that are completely unnecessary, orchestrated by his biological mother who has nothing to do with his funeral expenses or funeral arrangements. This is not to take away the glory or anything of that matter. I try to be civil for the sake of Matthew and it doesn't seem to be happening. I have asked her if she will donate any of the funds she has accumulated for Matthew's funeral expenses and she has not responded. Again, this is the last thing that we wanted or needed at this time. If needed, I will make those screenshots public. We have the official GoFundMe that is on my personal Facebook page and my husband's please share this i also notified that there were a gofundme made for a vigil for matthew i was trying to work with matt's biological mom to be cordial for this vigil apparently that is not happening because a gofundme was not again discussed by us right now our main concern is putting matthew to rest and getting his funeral arrangements not all these elaborate extra things that are unnecessary at this time please help me share that we have the official gofundme on my page Dude, it's getting ugly between them. Dang. This is uh, Matthew's brother. There are some fake accounts and people even posing as Matthew's family on the street selling waters as donations. Wow. Only official GoFundMe are mine and Raquel's. Feel free to donate to Raquel's GoFundMe as well. As ours, link is in my bio for mine on my Facebook and Instagram. You can also donate directly to Funeral Home. We are working together to get this done so Matthew can rest. We are also both selling some candles and shirts. So Sabian is the 26-year-old, I think, right? And the one that I played the videos, that's his oldest brother. Sabian is the one. Here, I'll show you the Instagram. See, Sabian is this one. So remember when we were lit watching his oldest brother's uh, video, he said he was the oldest not Sabian, but the, the guy on the video was the oldest. Sabian was 28 or 26. And then there's a younger one. Or maybe Matthew's. How was... I forget, but I know... <laughs> I forget the ages, but I know the one on the video is the oldest. Sabian is the middle. One of the middles. So Matthew's also in the middle because they have a younger brother. He said is nine, I think. So it goes the youngest... 
then Matthew, then Sabian, and then the guy that we see on the videos. Real quick, so this guy, he's the oldest brother. And then here, this is Sabian. He's the one of the middle brothers, but he's still older than Matthew. Sabian is the one that's doing the GoFundMe along with... Um, well, he has one, and then so does Raquel, the stepmom and dad, Gabriel. Here's Savannah's sister-in-law. says, my Vanny baby, why you baby girl? Why? Long live my baby sis and my baby nephew. We gone get justice for you, baby girl. This don't end like this, my love. Can anyone that makes shirts please message me? We want some with a flyer printed on it, please. Let me know. And the last two things I'm going to read is uh, Savannah's sister-in-law saying... Her phone isn't at home. Her phone is gone too and his got disconnected yesterday. So that's one post that Savannah's sister-in-law posts. And then she does one more which says, no, her cell phone is gone. Whoever said that is not true. That's the first thing we did. We did a welfare check. Cops went in and everything was normal. Her hospital bag was there. Everything. Okay, so here's the next video. This is uh, this has been all over the group, so I thought I'd play it. I don't like I said it in the live the other day. I don't know how I feel about psychics and this type of thing. I know this, the ghost whisper wouldn't necessarily be a psychic, but like the paranormal stuff is interesting to watch. I, it's usually not my go-to for thing for uh, crimes. I love watching like ghost hunter stuff, but as far as like when I do the cases, it's usually not how I research or I usually don't pay much attention. It's more for entertainment purposes, but I thought I'd share it because I know there's some people that are interested. And and another reason I'm sharing this is because supposedly, I'll show you, somebody um, said that the parents said that it did sound like Matthew's voice. Let me find it real quick. Right here. So it says, hello, I'm best friends with Matt's dad and stepmom. I had them listen to the voices and they said it's Matt. So they're saying that it's supposed that, you know, it did sound like Matt. And then somebody says, have you noticed that when you speak about Matthew, as you explained, it's like he's answering you. You could hear the frequency ring as you speak about him. So I don't know. I thought it'd be interesting if th th this girl is legit. I forgot about doing the disclaimer. Disclaimer. These aren't facts. This is like Facebook post. Take it with a grain of salt. You know, there is family members, friends not facts. I'll let you guys decide what you believe and what you don't. We know there's a lot of uh, trolls or people that are pretending to be people, people that are making up stuff, people that are passing along misinformation. So please, you know, don't take this as facts. We don't, when I talk about a fact, I'll say it's a fact. Um, there's not many facts in this case. It's a lot of hearsay, but this is what we got to go on. So with that being said, this Texas Flex design, I can't confirm that she's really best friends with Matt's dad and stepmom, but this is what she's saying. Now let's watch one of his videos with the ghost whisperer. Boy. How many people? Three people. What? Holy shit! But is he saying 32 or 3 or 2? I don't know. Savannah Soto or Matthew Guerra. 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 What, 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 I, I can't say your last name correctly. Guerra. Guerra, Guerra he has the same Guerra, problems as me. Oh my San God. Antonio, Texas. Um, are y'all here with me? Guerra. He said, his, he said Guerra. Guerra. He said his last name. Okay, guys. It does have like orbs. If you guys believe in orbs. In spirit, they, they speak weak like this. And like you see in my other videos, they speak really loud. And it clear, could be like dust, humans. but dang Once it. Once the new spirits learn how to use this, they will start talking the same way like a human being. Oh, it looks crazy. I just wanted to show you some of these orbs. Because you know, sometimes orbs, they look like... They're the obvious, they're not the orbs, they're either dust or they're that weird light reflection thing. Those are like the real small ones that are just uh, the way that the light is hitting the lens and it, I don't know, it creates this little orb thing that's pretty cool looking, but but these ones look like they might be the real deal. Now, let me see, I don't know if we missed one. I'll show you what I'm talking about, Let's see what you guys think. Okay, here's one right there. Okay, see right there? Watch it go. It gets moving. It moved out. It could be dust. I mean, it really could. I just want your guys' input on that. Oh, there's another one that just came across here. But I feel like the ones that are like more like that seem they could possibly be more real. See? 
right there. Look at that, watch. It starts right here, did you see? Up. That's crazy. Oh, it actually starts down here, it goes up. Now let's see if there's any more. I know I've seen them a couple more times when I was wa listening to this or watching it. Oh, there was a little one, I don't know. Let's see. That could be dust, though. It's crazy, though. It's just crazy to watch. You see? Right up here. That's probably dust. It's falling all the way down. It's right there. I don't know, though. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. I should change the... Oh, that! Do you see that? Look, is that the, that's not the one we just watched, is it? It goes, I don't know, you guys. What do you think? I'm a little, I'm always like a little leery about whether to believe the orb, but dang, sometimes it's just. It's very, there. Yeah, I should zoom into that. Hold on a second. I'm going to zoom into that and change like the. Because that one, I don't know, that one could just be dust or light or, you know what I'm saying, some kind of something else. But those are the ones that are more, like, not as noticeable. Those are the ones, like, you'll see in, like, ones that for people, like, that they're legit, like, ghost hunter type stuff. Or, you know, when you'll see, like, an old video and people will think it's a ghost. But, alright, we're going to zoom in because I don't know. I just want to see what it looks like zoomed in. Now we have to catch it. That's the trick. So let's see. Well, we should be able to see at least at the beginning. Okay, yeah. Dude. Look how it... it. Right here. It moves like the whole thing. Like after it trails off. That's pretty crazy. Hold on now. Let's try to follow it right here I'm gonna switch the exposure and stuff on it too I just want to look at it regular first see when it goes up uh, in front of him oh dude all right we're gonna switch the exposure here and I want to do those other ones too dude look at the okay look let me just do the exposure hold on But it's like, if it is dust, I mean, you could see the light through the whole thing, but I know it'd be such a small fraction of dust that it's just kind of neat to watch. Yeah, look, when it goes over him. Dude, if that was just dust, it would not block out his whole fate. Like, it blocks out this whole thing. A dust particle would not do that. It changes the light on the whole thing. Right? There's no way. Okay, it's Happy New Year, guys. In this moment, it is... It just turned the new year, 2024. And I'm editing this ghost. Or this orb, possibly. Um... You know, this could probably take me forever going through all these and changing filters. So I don't know if I'm going to, but it's very interesting. I'm going to find another one, though. What is that? Right here. <laughs> Almost looks like a meteor falling from the sky. But I do think that could be dust because it, go it goes... Watch. Don't you? I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Look at that. Ooh. It glows in the dark. Here it comes. Look at that.
So now we need a family member or a friend of his that knows that voice to tell us if that's his voice. And I read you this earlier. So if this girl's legit, then the family member did say it sounded like um. Come on, Matt, what I got faith, faith in you, buddy. How many, we, we have to know exactly how many people were involved in your death. You gotta. Damn it, dude. It said three with my hand over the speaker. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it said three. Savannah and uh, uh, Matt Guerra, why do they shoot y'all? They're stealing. Stealing what? Where's y'all's baby? I don't know if I hear that. Videos, murders, off the saddest shit ever. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's str pushing it, but there's some that are, yeah. Matthew Guetta or uh, Savannah Soto, did your parents, did your family have anything to do with this? Any family members? Matthew Guetta or Savannah Soto, did any of your family members have anything to do with this? Okay, guys, I'm asking about the family. I don't know if I hear a bracelet, though. Huh. All right. Okay. So that's that, guys. This is kind of neat. Look at this. So remember the cross right there? Well, it looks like a cross and on the surveillance. But she says, call me crazy or dumb, but I can't be the only one that sees a face and looks like Jesus. I do see it. Look. His nose, eyes, uh, beard. <laughs> Just kind of crazy. And that even looks like a cross right there. And then this looks like a cross. But I mean, this is just a window. I mean, really, it's just a window, but I think. But it just looks like a cross. Crazy. Okay. Okay, guys. Like I said, I know this is some of this is old stuff. It's just I'm trying to condense all the stuff I did in my lives. So it's more watchable for people that don't have six hours to watch lives. So part two will be coming soon.